Welcome back everyone to your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update and news report for January 2nd, 2021. Again, happy new year. I hope this year does bring you all the success and joy that you are seeking. And this update, we want to talk about the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks, as well as some other news going on right now. I do hope you have been enjoying my content. As always, if you have been enjoying my videos and you have been getting value out of my videos, show your support by smashing that like button. Give the video a big thumbs up. Smash that like button. It would just help with that YouTube algorithm. You will actually push the video out to more people, so it does support me and my channel if you do that. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you'd also go ahead and hit that big red button, the subscribe button, hit the big red button. Also, the notification bell as well. And that will actually notify you every single solitary time I do post a brand new video. So first on the agenda, we have to discuss this news. And now we at Logan Cohen Productions, we don't condone any hatred or violence. We don't want to incite anything like this. Hopefully it wasn't one of my viewers, but it would be interesting if someone watching my channel was someone that did this. Let me know down below in the comments, was this you? Let me know down below. But it just goes to show you what happens when you push someone to the edge. Finally, someone could snap from your actions. And in a sense, you can't really blame them. Obviously, this is a crime. This is a federal crime, especially against a politician. But it just goes to show you what can happen when you just keep doing something over and over again to someone. Finally, they take it out on you. So what's going on? What's the developing news? Well, believe it or not, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, both of their houses were actually vandalized today after Congress failed to enact a $2,000 stimulus check. You see Mitch McConnell's house here. This is literally right at his own address where him and his wife live. And you could see the photos captured on Saturday showed the words, quote, where's my money? Scrawled in white spray paint on the front of McConnell's Louisville, Kentucky home. His address recently leaked online. I had seen this in an Instagram post. And then another one on his window in red says, Mitch kills the poor. Mitch McConnell said in a statement, came out saying, quote, I've spent my career fighting for the First Amendment and defending peaceful protest. I appreciate every Kentuckian who has engaged in the democratic process, whether they agree with me or not. This is different. Vandalism and the politics of fear have no place in our society. McConnell went on to say that him and his wife were not intimidated, but quote, hope our neighbors in Louisville aren't too inconvenienced by this radical tantrum. And then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's San Francisco home, a garage door was defaced on Friday with phrases including quote, 2K, cancel rent, and we want everything. Police said that a pig's head and fake blood were left on the ground. Certainly something quite scary to wake up to. I would be quite frightened if I would ever see that. And we do know that there are radicals on both sides of the aisle that are looking to do much harm to the other side. I condemn those actions. I don't condone them. And we don't want to incite any violence. If you were the perpetrator of those crimes, let me know down below in the comments. Maybe we'll post your bail money or something. If you need some bail money, we'll help you out. But we don't condone that. We don't want to incite that here on this channel. Now, in regards to $2,000 stimulus checks, we know that the CASH Act on Monday was passed in the House. That's the bill that would have amended a $2,000 stimulus check, would have increased the $600 payments to $2,000. And that was blocked by Mitch McConnell, Senate Majority Leader, who had said that the bill had, quote, no realistic path to quickly pass the Senate. And then he went on to say, quote, the Senate's not going to be bullied into rushing out more borrowed money into the hands of Democrats, rich friends who don't need the help. We know that the Senate adjourned on Friday without ever taking up a vote on $2,000 stimulus checks. And the new session of Congress will not reconvene until Sunday when the new session is sworn in. Democrats have vowed to swiftly revive the $2,000 checks after the new Congress is sworn in on Sunday. In fact, Representative Hakeem Jeffries, a Democrat from New York, he's the chair of the House Democratic Caucus. He had said, quote, President-elect Joe Biden has made clear that the pandemic relief bill that Congress passed is simply a down payment on the work that needs to continue. We're going to continue to fight for a $2,000 direct payment check. Senator Lindsey Graham, who spent time with President Trump over the holidays, is one of the few GOP senators pushing for a standalone vote on the $2,000 stimulus checks. And he said that, quote, in the new Congress, you could get a vote. During an interview on Fox and Friends, Senator Lindsey Graham said, I'd like a standalone vote in the new Congress on the $2,000 check. We have seven Republicans who have already said they'd vote for it. We need five more. I think if we had the vote, we would get there. In addition, as we know, the vaccine is still being rolled out throughout the entire country. Senator Mitt Romney had slammed the U.S.'s rollout in his statement on Friday. He had said that the nation is, quote, falling behind 
and calling for urgent action to develop a comprehensive vaccination plan at the federal level. He said, quote, I know that when something isn't working, you need to acknowledge reality and develop a plan. In regards to the current stimulus check of $600, the IRS and the Treasury have said that they have already started to send out those stimulus checks. Many people have already commented on my videos in the last few updates saying that they have received theirs. Again, if you have received your check, let me know down below in the comments. If not, let me know as well. And that initial batch of second stimulus checks will be sent out through direct deposit, physical checks, and EIP cards or economic impact payment cards. Those payments will continue for the next 13 days. Now, why only for the next 13 days? Well, January 15th is the cutoff for the IRS to complete sending out payments. So most likely you cannot receive a payment after January 15th. People receiving their stimulus checks via direct deposit, those checks have already started to be sent out as of December 29th. And the IRS payment tool where you can track your payment is not set up yet, but we can expect to see the online tool activate in the coming week. So do anticipate that tool becoming up and running. Now for people that are receiving their stimulus checks via a paper check, those were also started to be sent out on December 30th. Now, unfortunately, the U.S. Treasury can only process between 5 and 7 million paper stimulus checks a week, in addition to checks for other federal programs. This is according to the Government Accountability Office report from June, which means some people will have to wait for their checks if you are expecting it by paper. But there is a catch because of the language of the stimulus bill that institutes that January 15th cutoff. If you do not receive your stimulus check by January 15th, you will have to claim it in your early 2021 tax return. People who are expecting EIP or economic impact payment cards, they're actually going to be sent out much faster this time around, so good news for those people that are waiting for those cards. They are prepaid Visa cards that the IRS has said that they might send you instead of a paper check. Do be warned that the envelope will look unmarked, so be careful not to toss it out of the mail without carefully opening first. The free tracking tool will of course help you with that. So be sure that you do not throw out all of your mail if you are expecting a debit card. The IRS has said that it will start sending out the EIP cards this week, which is a change from the one month delay in sending out this type of payment since the first time around. Those cards took months and months to get. And again, the same rules apply to the cards as do the paper checks. If you do not get it by January 15th, then you will have to claim yours by filing a recovery rebate credit between January 16th and April 15th as part of the tax season. Now then there's of course miscellaneous types of situations and anomaly type of circumstances, but the majority of people, at least that watch my channel, will certainly fall into those categories of either a direct deposit or paper check or an EIP card. If you do have any further questions that you think it needs an answer, you can always post them down below in the comments. Myself, I'll do my best to answer them or we have a great community. I'm sure there'll also be other people responding and you could get any questions that you need answered, hopefully answered. Now the new session of Congress will be sworn in on Sunday, so hopefully that could trigger some new negotiations, new discussions being sparked. You'll be sure to see all the updates and anything regarding stimulus on this channel. This is your one-stop shop. If you did enjoy this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from my channel, hit that big red button as well, the subscribe button, also, the notification bell as well. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video.